The first point is that we have to ensure that learners go beyond simply listening to lectures or simply passively watching videos and then doing the practice later. For example, we can have LBDs which immediately follow LEDs so that the learner gets immediate practice and immediate feedback on their actions after watching a small segment of the video that you want them to learn. So, the idea is that you do not want to keep activities to later and you know expect learners to do them at home at a different time. So, interspersing the activities along with the you know lecture content is desirable and it is a good way of ensuring that learners are not simply passive during the course. The LCM model naturally brings the idea of learner centricity through its elements LED, LXT, uh, LBD and LXI uh, and this is a structural way of looking at a learner centric MOOC. But another powerful, equally powerful and perhaps more important way of looking at a learner centric MOOC is through an interaction lens. And the question to ask there is what are the interactions uh, that a learner is doing with the content, with the instructor, with the TAs, with the other learners and so on. The idea of learner centricity in a MOOC, the, the core idea of it is similar to what instructors uh, implement in a face to face classroom when for example, they teach using active learning techniques. They do activities, they reflect, they discuss with their neighbors, they write, they draw, they talk, they articulate their reasoning. And what the learner centric MOOC model does is incorporate these strategies into the new medium. So, getting your material into a learner centric tone depends heavily on how do you think of these uh, learner connect issues while creating your content. For example, if a question is asked and people are supposed to discuss about it and if the question has one direct yes or no answer, then probably the person who has visited the discussion forum first time will answer it and the rest of the people will not find any useful material to read along. On the other hand, if the question provides options for the learners to put their diverse viewpoints or even reflect upon each other's viewpoints and then keep going along with the direction, keeping the central idea of the question, that will result in actual discussion which is a, a very positive sign of learning uh, using this the massiveness and the diversity of the course. So, that is one way of keeping the connect throughout the course. So, uh, an important aspect in an online learning uh, is uh, giving the teaching presence as well as the social presence of the instructor uh, to better uh, generate learner engagement in the course. Now, uh, this, these principles of uh, teaching presence and social presence comes from the community of inquiry framework. It talks of three different spheres of uh, presence required from the instructor. One is the cognitive presence in terms of selection of content, utilization of the learning content. Then there is the social presence where the instructor tries to create a meaningful interaction with the learners both in terms of peer to peer connect as well as uh, learner to instructor connect. And there is this overall teaching presence of how they utilize the cognitive presence and uh, social presence to effectively orchestrate uh, an online uh, offering of a course. So, it is important to first for an instructor to set the instructional climate by providing meaningful instructions, what are the do's, what are the don'ts, uh, what will the learner get if they go through the, uh, follow the instruction, not just go through, follow the instructions, what are the positives that they will get and why should they avoid 
the don'ts. So this is also another place where the teaching presence plays a critical role. And uh, if you are doing a learner centric MOOC, then it is important to focus on these three aspects of uh, cognitive presence, social presence and teaching presence and understanding how they play an important part while you are uh, orchestrating a course, a massive open online course with so much diverse learners and so much different levels um, coming into the uh, course.